My previous video message to customers and friends emphasized that the UIPO is staying open for business. In turn, the office staff has been in touch with a number of our stakeholders to find out how you are coping. It is very touching to hear that in spite of the many difficulties, you often ask about the health and welfare of our personnel. As you may know, we moved to universal teleworking five weeks ago. Since then, no member of the EUIPO internal staff has been confirmed to have COVID-19, although testing remains scarce. In spite of a worrying decline in filings, production continues at more or less normal level and work goes on across every aspect of the office's mission. We are actively planning how to get back to normal work when testing, protective equipment and the right conditions allow, always keeping the health and welfare of our staff to the forefront. One recent highlight were a series of virtual meetings with about 100 representatives from the EU Member States IP offices. The office detailed its plan to help SMEs as part of our upcoming strategy and this relies on close cooperation with everybody who took part in these meetings. This issue can only grow in importance as we climb out of the current crisis and I'm happy to say that there was a very encouraging response and active interest from all the offices. A second highlight is that a significant milestone for the office was passed when our friends in the Finnish office joined their data to the design class database. This means that all Member States IP offices are now part of the four common tools of the European Union Intellectual Property Network, that is TMView, DesignView, TM Class and Design Class. More than ever, we need to be more united and more joined up, and this is certainly a good step. I know many of you have questions about what next, not just for the EU IPO, but for IP rights, the economy and normal life. Clearly, I can't answer every question in these videos, but in future, I will try to deal with at least some of those related to IP rights and the office's work. In doing so, I will be checking what users are asking about through the usual route for contacting the office, as well as our media channels. One question that may be on people's mind is what's happening to the Design Europa Award, which the office runs every two years to celebrate registered community design and great designers. This time round, the award are scheduled to Eindhoven in the Netherlands as from 20th of October. We are standing by this event and this schedule in the hope and confidence that it will be as inspiring a celebration as the previous ones. The deadline for nomination has been extended to the 8th of May and we are assembled a great team of judges who will for now meet virtually. I hope that's some good news for you to end with. If you find this video useful, please indicate that in the usual manner and check out the office other social media channel as well as our website. Please stay strong, keep safe and let's keep working together. Thank you.